fine with Why, me. did somebody say something? <laughs> <laughs> Hi all, well here we are again and the latest release from Park Zone the Bind and Fly Ultra Micro Series the Icon A5 with AS3X. Now, I'm really looking forward to getting into this plane because I missed out on uh, its big brother when it came. I never got hold of one of them to do a review. Uh, I believe they were quite a nice plane. People enjoyed them, still are. Um, a lot of people have waited for a micro one of these and well, here it is. Let's get it out of the box and have a look. It sits in the box quite neat. As you can see, by the looks of it, you can't put the wheels on. I'll get it out of the box and we'll have a look at it in the flesh. As always, the manual's on the bottom of the box. Don't forget to have a read. Well, it's the bind and fly version and you uh, don't get a lot in the box. The wheels, a 2S charger. Yes, that's right, 2S. This plane's got the 2500 kV brushless motor, like the UMX planes. Strangely though, they only give you a 180 milliamp battery and 20C. So we're all going to have lots of batteries that can fit this. I'll be having a go with my Mini Aviations and the new Babel Bats that I've got as well. So we'll see what it goes like with all the batteries as well as the stock. Okay, time to have a close up look at it. It's, um, it feels light in hand. It's got a very wide bottom on it. You can see that its water handling capabilities are going to be very good. Covers over the servos, but I notice they've got little holes in the front, so it's not to keep the water out. It must be for ventilation. No steering. This bit of plastic here is solid. T-tail. A high performance three blade prop, they tell us. I don't know much about three blade props or anything, so we'll see how that goes. Just ailerons. The wing is quite thick. It's not bad at all. The tail is the usual meat tray thinness of foam. Magnetic hatch. It's got quite a seal around there to keep the water out. And it held on quite firm. Okay, inside. The board's right there. Now the battery goes in here. It doesn't feel like a heap of space. For those that like the Mini Aviation, the 300 milliamp fits in there. The 210 doesn't fit right, but it does just sit there, so I would say you'd be able to use it, but it doesn't fit properly. The Babel Bat 240 is near identical in size to the E-Flight stock battery, which is only the 180, so that will fit in with ease. Babel Bat fits no problems. 240 milliamp one. So you know the smaller ones will fit if you have a smaller one. Unfortunately, the bigger battery, the 325, does not fit. You'll have to cut foam and modify to get that one in. For those who like to dabble, it looks like the wing has four screws holding it on. It's all I can see. It's got a bit of plastic here that it screws into. Wheels just clip straight in. Then we have wheels on it as well. I will do a ground test because it doesn't have any steering. They're all fixed gear. So I'll do a ground test and we'll see if we've got any steering. Hopefully the three blade prop will put out enough wash and we'll steer with the rudder, no worries. Binding. I've selected a channel on my DX8. Batteries in and connected. Light is flashing. Hold bind button down. Make sure all switches are where you want them. Holding bind button down, turn on. When it says binding, you can let go. Easy as that. Okay. All bound. Let's check our surfaces. Rudder. Left and right. Motor works. Everything looks good. 
Let's have a listen to that motor. Yeah, that's a little under half. That's half. The 2500 kV motor, that's on half. Just let it run a little bit. Okay, let's see what it goes like. system looks good. Well that's about it. I can't really show you any more at the moment. Hopefully you've enjoyed this little uh, unboxing, having a close look. It looks very nice. Looking forward to flying it. Okay, keep an eye out for that maiden. I'd just like to thank Mike again from OMP. He supplied this plane for us so that we can have this review now. Thanks again Mike. And uh, that's it for now, folks. Thanks for watching. Keep an eye out for that maiden. Catch you soon. Okay, you've asked what the steering's like. Here we go. Let's give it a go. Okay, as we've seen, for playing with it as a racing car, it's not going to do it. It uh, doesn't steer the best. I'm using Aurons as well and it seems to be helping. I don't know whether it is. Um, I've got it on 100% as well. It turns one way better than the other. But for just flying and keeping it on the runway, as you can see, you can do it. I'm not going to take off. It likes the bursts of speed. You've got to give it the bursts of speed. Otherwise it won't turn. Okay, so there we have it. turns that way a lot better than the other way. Then again, it's not meant to be a race car, is it? Well, there you go. The Icon A5 from Park Zone. You saw there, it, it turns all right. Okay, well, that's it for now. Thanks all. Catch you soon. Okay, we were asked if it'll take off of grass or slide along grass. I'm about to give that a go. And there it goes, the maiden as well. So as you saw, it took off of the grass. I've got no one here to film it. So I think we better just land it. Flies slow anyway. Lands beautifully on the grass. There you go, a little bit of a teaser for you. Well, as you saw then, it takes off a of grass, no worries. And you even got a little sneak maiden because that was really my maiden, wasn't it? We'll get another vid when Corinne gets back so we can watch it in flight. But as you saw then, it flies pretty slow and uh, landed no worries. So I think this plane's gonna suit a lot of people. Okay, that's it for the outdoors bit. Catch us later, guys.